guys. I'm here with Haley Duff. That, Haley Duff, guys. <laughs> really? This is awesome. <laughs> We're looking at her awesome new cookbook, The Real Girl's Kitchen. Yes. This is beautiful. Thank you. you. I it. love seeing it in your hands, too. It makes me so happy. It's a great cookbook, you guys. And we are going to make a butternut squash recipe from it. Yes. I have to admit, this intimidates me. And I mean, look at this shape. It's the elephant in the room. It really is. I know. I'm so excited because this is a really great, easy recipe, especially if you've never done it. But they're also really hard to peel and you don't want to eat the skins. So a great tip for getting the skins off easily before you bake them is to just boil them in a boiling pot, three, four minutes, just so that skin comes off really easily. And then you just kind of want to go around the edges and take off any of these like little green veins you see. Once you get it all nice and peeled, it's going to lay down on its side and with a nice sharp knife, you just kind of break into it. Just like a cantaloupe, guys. That's what you well, said in your book, and that truthfully, me it is feel just like a cantaloupe it. because when you open it up, you see that you have all these like beautiful seeds in there. You ideally just scoop out the seeds. You want to scoop with me? Yeah, let's scoop together, Haley. This will all come out really easily, and you just want to kind of get right under that pulp. And it should all come out. Mine's almost out. How's yours doing? Mine is mine isn't as good as yours. I'm not as good um, at this as you. You know what? Yours is great actually. You've got a really? good technique. You took it all out at once. Thanks. Mine kind of like spilled out halfway as we went. So they just hollow out really nicely like that. It's just cutting into some cubes. We're all prepped and let's get our seasonings on. Let's get our seasonings on. Let's, let's get do our it. seasoning on. The first one is nutmeg and just a good little sprinkle of the nutmeg across some cayenne. I love the cayenne because we're doing brown sugar as well, so it gives like a little heat. Savory and not sweet. too much, so don't go crazy with the cayenne. Everyone will be bummed. And we're going to do a little bit of salt because everything needs a little bit of salt. Last but not least, and my, my favorite. favorite. You want to do this one with me Let's too? Because we're going to do some more of this one than the okay. other ones. And what's nice about the brown sugar too is when it goes in the oven, it'll like melt and kind of burn, not burn, but it'll get like crispy almost from yeah, all the heat of the that. oven. Should we get these bananas squashed Let's out? get them out let's and let's it. eat them up. Look how good oh these God. look. So we're gonna just take them and knock them right into there. Oh my gosh, man. These are looking good. They smell really good too. Who knew I could be really excited about squash? I didn't. Sister, now you got squashed oh, down. One of my favorite parts. The goat cheese. Some goat cheese. You don't have to do it, but if you don't, you have don't to do, do it, it, then you're kind it's of a lame. Crime. Then you're kind of lame. <laughs> I like to chill it a little bit so it's nice and firm. And you just knock off a couple little like pieces. Super simple. And then they just kind of fold right onto the top. And then that's it. And you can toss it if you want to, or you can just leave it like that. I leave it on the top like that, because I just yeah. feel like it looks really pretty. But you made your first squash. We did it, but now we have to eat it. OK, great. Don't twist my arm. It might be hot, though. It's right on the oven. That's why I'm getting a lot of goat cheese in my bite. <laughs> to cool it down. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> um, Isn't that good? You did it. That's a hit. 